you're one of the people that had the fortune or misfortune to play against Maradona. I have here Wednesday, 15th March, 1989. Napoli beat Juve 3-0. Um, you're playing in a team with Pasquale Bruno, who I think ended up playing at Heart of Midlothian in, in Scotland. You have, I, you have, have, I need, you say Pasquale Bruno, you say Maradona in the same sentence. I, I need to... I need to tell this one. Paint the picture because I need yeah, to paint the picture. Quite different. Um, <laughs> we're playing at uh, Sao Paulo Stadium in Napoli, and um, 21 players waiting to go from the tunnel up. We are missing one, which of obvious is Diego. He was the captain. He's coming, small guy, and uh, we come up, 80,000 people. And Pascale Bruno was playing with me in, uh, in Juventus, and he was going to mark Maradona. Um, he was very nervous, I remember. <laughs> no, the game starts, I think we played six minutes, six, seven minutes. At that time, Maradona received the ball in the middle of the pitch. I was just about eight, ten meters from, from him. Pasquale Bruno is coming. And his, his, his left foot is on top of the ball. And Bruno is coming in with two feet, two feet tackle. In the last second, he just rolled the ball between the legs of, of Pasquale Bruno. And he gets around him. He's getting touched, so there's a free kick. At that time, I'm standing there and say, Bruno, come on, come on. I'm looking down at the, the boots of uh, uh, Diego. And he's still, he was still having then, I don't know what to uh, Unlaced. Unlaced, yeah. He was playing with the laces open. Open. You're not, <laughs> not long, but they were, they were short, but they were open. <laughs> and we played seven minutes in a Serie A game with 80,000 people. <laughs> and I said, Diego, hey, <laughs> you shoot. Huh? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> and I was just Details, saying, details. Small detail, incredible. Well, it's, it was just, uh, it's not to talk about because I don't want to go into that debate uh, who was the best no. uh, player in the world no. uh, the all time. Uh, Messi, him, or third one, because again, we're living different in different uh, periods of time and uh, I think it's not about it's not a competition because football we can talk about football for days and you can have your opinion I can have mine I think we have to listen and I think we have to yeah, just be happy that we have had the possibility to, to see these players and I'm I'm very grateful that I've been playing at the, at mm. in the same time as Maradona, and I'm very also grateful that I've seen the last ten years uh, uh, Messi and 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 Cristiano play and compete against each other with Real Madrid and and Barcelona on top of the world. I think it's it's great, uh, but so I don't want to go into that because then you have people older than me that say no no Pele Pele was something else, and then you have olders from if you talk to people. Who are 80 years old in Madrid and say, no, 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 Di Stefano. Come Di on, Stefano, Di Stefano, come on. Di Stefano could play yeah. everything on the pitch. Alex so, Ferguson says so this. So why, why, why is, it's, it's not a competition, no. this one. No, no, we have to find who is the best. No, no, <laughs> we're talking about four players who have given so much to so many. And, as and then we can go to the next level and... Uh, and and I'm I'm always happy when I when I come to always in Denmark or I go to Spain and somebody just come to me and he's maybe my age or a little older and the only thing he says is give my hand and say thank you, I think that's incredible. It's 25 years, 23 years since I left football. It's 25 years since I left Spain. You know, so it's for me just to attention. Thank you. Just thank you. Nothing else. Not uh, can I have uh, five autographs. Just thank you.